Hello and welcome to the 16th video, 17th sorry, video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So we're going to start on the, the road now to generating a list of moves in a given position. And before we do this, we need a function to help with this generation to detect whether a square is attacked by a side. And we're going to put this function at the bottom, right at the bottom of board.js. I'm just at the bottom here of the passing the fen function. Just scroll that up a bit so you can see. And we're going to call this function square attacked, funnily enough. And we're going to be asking, is this square sq attacked by the side side? It's the important thing to remember and the first thing I'm going to do is define some variables and then I'm going to talk through how the function is going to work before we actually start programming it and we won't be doing the whole thing in this video because it's quite long so we'll have a t-square which we won't be using in this video we'll be using later we also won't be using piece and we also won't be using index but it's all set up for a future video so how will this function work well essentially what it'll do is if I bring up our good old board and we have here our squares here 21 to 98 and say we want to know if the square 54 is attacked by white well the way the function will work is the first thing it will do is it will ask is there a white pawn on square 43 or square 45 because remember pawns attack forwards diagonally if so return true then what it will do is literate in the eight oops it literate in the eight directions that a knight can move and ask, is a white knight on those squares? If so, return bulldog true. Yes, this square is attacked by white. If those fail, the next thing it's going to do is look at the diagonals and iterate from 54 in each direction diagonally until it hits a piece or goes off board. And if it hits a piece, it'll ask, is that piece a white queen or a white bishop? If so, then yes, it's attacked by white. And I'm sure you get the idea that exactly the same thing horizontally and verti vertically. Keep iterating until we hit a piece and ask then, is that piece a white rook or a white queen? If so, we're attacked by white. And last but not least, the eight surrounding squares of 54 to ask whether we're attacked by the king. And return true, if so. Otherwise, return bulldog false. So in this video, we'll just start with the pawn attacks. These variables are defined for later on. And it's pretty simple. We're just going to say if side equals colors dot white. The reason we're doing, by the way, the pawn separately is because they're slightly different in the sense that knights, whether they're black or white, attack from the same eight possible squares. But pawns, of course, attack going forwards only. So black going down the board and white going up the board. So, and then we'll simply say if the game board pieces on our square and now we'll say minus 11 because if I go back to the spreadsheet here if we're on square 54 then minus 11 is 43 and we'll also go in the minus 9 direction to get square 45 and we'll say if that equals pieces dot white pawn or and I'll just copy and paste this to save some typing minus 9 equals pieces white pawn then we know that we that white is attacking the square in question so we can return true a very similar thing for black but of course we're going to go in the plus 9 and plus 11 direction here because black pawns attack in the other direction and remember to change the piece type to a black pawn here so if a, if we're asking is side black attacking square and square plus 11 or square plus 9 is a black pawn, then yes, black is attacking this square. We can return true already. Okay then, so that's it then for this video because I don't want to get into the looping through the pieces yet. We'll do that in the next video because we've got some definitions to make. Oh, and I'll just change the name to a C there for square attacked. I'm just going to grab the browser extremely quickly and just uh, what we can do actually is take our square attacked just to make sure that there's no syntax error in here and we'll say uh, we already know that a1 is a 21 and we'll call it uh, and we already know that white is a zero so it's just a very quick debug here just to check everything's okay I'm just going to refresh 
And yes, there's no error in the console, so there's no syntax error yet anyway, because we haven't got anything to print yet. Okay then, so next video we'll carry on building up this is square attack function. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms are welcome as always on YouTube.